Welcome to another edition of Eric's Park Views. I am Eric, and this is going to be an unboxing of the Samsung Soundbar Q700B. This is a pretty cool soundbar, lots of great features. Uh, Many of the reason I got it was because it has Apple AirPlay, Chromecast, and works with Alexa all built in. So you can use it in any of those speaker groups, and uh, that's really what I wanted was a soundbar that was capable of doing that. But also, it's Dolby Atmos enabled, uh, DTSX. Um, really cool soundbar with lots of great features. Uh, it's a soundbar and a subwoofer. And so we're gonna just unbox this and take a look at what comes in the box. All right here, this is going to be our subwoofer. Off. Styrofoam off of there. we go this is the subwoofer it's not too too big uh, nice nice size though and uh, down here on the back you have your uh, set button that's probably to link it to the soundboard because it is a wireless subwoofer that you're getting in this so let's set this off to the side for now that's that um, you get all the stuff you need to set this up Let's go ahead and open this up, take a closer look, just so we can see exactly what this stuff is. Since it is an unboxing, you want to know exactly what comes in the box. You've got your power supply, your other power supply, one for the soundbar, one for the subwoofer. You've got an HDMI cord, just in case you don't already have one. Then, of course, you're going to get your remote control, um, and they include the remote control batteries as well. It's a fairly uh, small uh, basic remote and get a good look at that there's a remote and they give you the batteries um, just basic commands on the remote there and then you're gonna get your user manual so you know how to use it and this is maybe gonna be some type of mounting brackets I'm guessing yep you got your Got two mounting brackets to uh, be able to mount the soundbar to a wall in case it's made so you can set it on top of a uh, uh, TV. Uh, I can't even think of what you call it, but you know what I'm saying. You can set it on top of anything, um, but it does have brackets. So if your TV is mounted on the wall and you want to mount it above or below your TV, you can use those brackets uh, to do that. And then these are the screws and things that go with that. And you get uh, two of those. And then the next part is gonna be the actual sound bar. So in order to get the sound bar out, you have to take it out of the bottom here, is what they are saying. Which makes sense. styrofoam of course and voila here is your Samsung soundbar you can see that there you've got your I think it goes like no, it goes it definitely goes like this because there's the Samsung logo and it's meant so that it looks like it's meant to lay like this and you have your controls right there, if you can see those right there. There we go, see the controls. And um, you've got speakers here. These are gonna be your upfiring speakers for Atmos. And then I believe there are speakers all the way down here and as well as on the sides to get like surround sound. It emulates surround sound as much as possible, but that's, it is a uh, quite, quite a big uh, sound bar. Uh, you can see it's gonna definitely give a lot of really good sound uh, with those speakers as upfiring speakers for simulated Atmos and then speakers on the sides for simulated uh, surround and then your front firing speakers to give you really excellent sound. Um, anyway, this is just an unboxing 
And that is the cell bar. And this is the subwoofer. And that is everything that comes in the box. That's going to be it for the unboxing. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you know no one who might be interested in the product, share the video with them. All those ones are down there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for other playlists, keep up with future product reviews, including a full review of this soundbar in action. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it until next time. So be safe and be happy.